hi guys it's been a while so welcome back to my channel so for today's video we're going to understand or we're going to know the meaning of indeterminate offense so what is indeterminate offense so magsimula muna tayo dun sa indeterminate no yung determinate muna na word so when we say determinate meaning it is clear it is not ambiguous yung nakaset na nakafix na and it is certain yung nakaplano na ba kung kung sabi pa nila no so when we say indeterminate kabaliktaran yun ng determinate so meaning it is not certain it is not clear it is ambiguous so meaning it is vague so when we talk about um so when we say indeterminate offense it means uh it is one where the purpose of the offender in performing an act is not certain and its nature in relation to its objective is ambiguous so the accused may be convicted for a felony defined by the acts performed by him up to the time of desistance so dun man tayo sa first yung yung purpose ng offender sa pag-perform ng act is hindi certain. Yung bang pag uh, yung ginawa niyang act is hindi clear dun sa ano I mean yung purpose niya is hindi clear. Hello? Basta yun na yun. Yung purpose is not clear and it is ambiguous. So, para mas maintindihan natin yung uh, nakakalitong explanation ko, so we're going to have an example. So, an example for that is, so, X, so si X gusto niyang patayin si Y by means of poisoning Y. So, X wants to kill Y by means of poisoning him or Y. So, X then, um, buys a poison in the drugstore and now the question is is x criminally liable so the answer is no x is not criminally liable so the mere act of buying a poison does not constitute an overt act so meaning yung pagbili ni x ng poison sa drugstore hindi siya overt act when we say overt act, it means physical activities. Yun bang uh, physically mo ginawa. Hindi siya yung iniisip mo lang or hindi siya ideas or intention mo na gusto mo i-commit yung crime. Overt act means uh, physically mo talaga siyang ginawa. Yun, ulit, ulit. So, it is only a preparatory act which has no direct connection to the crime intended to be committed. So, yung pagbili ni X ng poison sa drugstore, hindi siya overt act, meaning hindi siya physically act to commit crime, which is poisoning Y. It is just a mere preparatory act, preparation lang, no? Na paghahanda sa, sa plano niyang pagpoison kay Y. So, hindi siya overt act. So, the act is susceptible to many interpretation, meaning yung pagbili ni X ng poison, may iba-iba siyang meaning. Yung pagbili niya is not, uh, does not have a direct connection with the crime which he, he intended uh, to, which he intended to be committed, which is poisoning. Why? Kasi yung pagbili niya ng poison sa drugstore is that maaari niyang gamitin yung poison, mampatay ng um, rats, or mga, yes, mga daga, ipis, ganon. Pwede niyang gamitin yung poison na yun, pampatay, ah, uh, ng mga daga, ng rats, ganun na nga. So, meaning, pwede niyang gamitin yung poison sa ibang bagay, hindi directly sa pag-poison kay Y. So, that is the meaning of indeterminate offense. Meaning, yung ginawa niya, yung pagbili ng act niya is hindi siya fixed or certain dun sa gusto niyang i-commit na offense which is poisoning. Why? Because there are other intentions of a buying poison such as um, poisoning rats or mouse or peas. Peas? Yeah, ganun. Basta mga insekto, mga sumpa sa bahay natin yung ganun. So, uh, mens rea, which is a wrongful criminal intent, 
alone will not make one incur criminal liability. So that is our example for indeterminate offense. So another example is the case of people versus um people versus lamaha. Yeah. Is that lamaha? Wait. Yes, people versus lamaha. So the final objective of the offender in this case once he succeeded in entering the store, may be rob, maybe to rob, to cause physical injury to to the inmates or to to commit any other offenses. So meaning, yung purpose niya is hindi certain, hindi fixed or hindi direct sa purpose na kanyang uh, sa intention na supposedly gagawin niya. So in such case, there is no justification in finding the offender guilty of attempted robbery by the use of force upon things. So, yun yun, yun yung indeterminate things, meaning yung purpose mo or objective mo sa pag uh, sa certain act na to is hindi directly intended dun sa gusto mo pag commit ng crime. So, so, ayun. Indeterminate offense. So that ends my video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe on my channel because I will be uploading more videos in the future. Thank you so much for watching.